Hey, what's up YouTube land? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing Transformers Generations Drift. So let's head to the table and check them out. So here we are, and there he is. And just on a side note, today's review will be brought to you by Ice Cold Soda. There's nothing better for you on a hot day. It's yummy and full of deliciousness. But anyway, back to the task at hand. So here we have Drift. And here we have his packaging. Really quick show off there. Here's a picture of Drift. There's his name Drift. There's Deluxe Class Drift. There's Autobot Drift. Pictures of Drift. And it's going to drift away now. Here is said Drift finally in my hand. Again, this is another figure that I was so excited about and so happy to finally have in my hands. And he is just as good as he looked in the pictures and in other reviews I've seen. Awesome, awesome, awesome figure. Here he is, a souped up sports car, kind of fast and furious kind of car. Very nice. Love the detailing here. Love the red accents here on the car. Love these rims. I don't know what this means. If somebody could fill me in on what this character means, I would appreciate it very much. Nice detail. Look at the underside. This is where you store his, uh, his sword. Right there on the underside. Very, very nice. It rolls very, very well. And he's actually a pretty big deluxe. Here he is next to a Classics Prowl. You can see here he's a little bit longer. A little bit longer than Prowl. A little bit bigger. He's, he's a lot heftier. He's a hefty deluxe. Which is pretty nice. The translucent headlights. And the windshield's like this light blue color, which is, again, just very, very nice. The back windshield's though is painted in, though, but still. Not really anything to really complain about here. So, get down to the transformation. What you want to do is, you want to kind of slide the sword out first. Put that off to the side. What you want to do is, you want to come up top here, kind of wedge this apart. Like so. Like that, you kind of see his head already. You want to take these panels right here, lift them up, and shift them to the side, like so. Lift this up, and shift it over to the side. Now you can kind of take these sections, and bring them down like that. You kind of rotate them back if you want. Just kind of get them out of the way. Come here, kind of pop the doors. Pop the doors open. Kind of angle those back again, just kind of get them out of the way. While you're at it, you can kind of... Yeah, we'll do that later, actually. You want to take the roof here of the car, lift it up, and it's just going to shift up like so. And tab, there's a little tab right there. It's got a tab right in, right there. So you got that there. Now you want to take the legs and split them. It's kind of hard to do. Come on. There we go. And then you just want to take the legs and just extend them down like so. Take the legs, bring them down. Then you want to take the foot. You kind of want to take it, bring it up like that. Bring it up against the shin like so. Same thing on the other side. Just take the foot, bring it up like so. Then you come down here, you kind of flip out these little, uh, these are going to be the handles of his little, little mini swords. Then you can take this windshield and flip it up like that. Just want to flip out that little handle there and then flip up the windshield. Now you can kind of bring these down at his side like so. And they're on a ball joint so you can angle them however you want. Then you want to come here you basically just want to grab his hand right here and just pull the arm down. And it just extends in one fluid motion. Right there. Just whoop, 
and there's his arms. And you want to take his fist and you want to rotate him 180. Because right now his thumb is on the other side. So you just want to rotate the thumb. And there you have him. There is Drift in Robot Mode. And could not look any freaking cooler. The head sculpt is just beautiful. Love the head sculpt. Got his Autobot symbols there. Just very nicely detailed figure just all around. Very cool. He's got a lot of the car hanging behind his legs, but that's okay. And this little clip here that, that holds his sword, actually, you can bring this out. It does come out and extend out slightly. So it makes the sword stick out. You know, it, it makes it stand out a little further from his body. But yeah. And here's a sword. Which is made of a, a soft plastic. Has little markings on it. Very nice. You can hold it. And you can double hand this bad boy. If you want to do so. So you can get a good double handed pose. Very cool. And also, you know, he has the two little, two little swords right here, which again are very nice. So if you want him to hold one of these, have them dual wielding swords. He's very cool. Good articulation. The shoulders are on a ball joint. He has a bicep swivel, uh, elbow joint. The Aren't the the wrist is on a full swivel out. It can also go in and out. Uh, no waist articulation, but that's okay. Uh, ball joint, mid thigh swivel, knee joint. Uh, no articulation in the feet though. They do kind of pivot a little bit, but still not bad. Still not bad at all. And here he is next to Dark Mount. You can see here he's a little bit taller at the head than Dark Mount. But all in all, amazing, amazing figure. And the head is on a ball joint. He actually can look up, which is pretty cool. And, um, yes, amazing figure. Everything you've heard about this figure is true. It is awesome, awesome, awesome. And definitely, for, for my money, this right here is the battle of the ages. Who do you think will win? Who do I think would win? I don't know. All I have to say is, place your bets now. And we'll see who turns up victorious. But, awesome figure. Pick it up. It is a must-have. So, that's pretty much all I can say about this guy. So, there is Transformers Generations Drift, and this is Emgo. Rolling out.